All right, if you see these things out on the road, don't be too alarmed. Uh, you will soon start spotting driverless vehicles roaming the streets of Dallas. After months of testing, autonomous vehicles will be ready to hit the streets without anyone in the driver's seat. I just saw this in Austin not long ago when I was there for the impeachment trial, uh, Jason, and it does make you do a double take. Jason Whiteley with us in the newsroom on what we can expect as uh, we're heading down the road and look into a car that's got nobody in it that's moving. It, it, you should expect to see these driverless cars come pick you up if you need a ride. You know, as you mentioned, we have watched these rollouts in other cities like Austin. Now Dallas is talking about what to expect. A city council committee met today to talk about that. The name of these vehicles are called cruise vehicles, and they have five levels of autonomy and Dallas right now is at level four. So what does that mean? It means the vehicle is doing all of the driving and does not allow a passenger to take over. The difference between level four and level five is that level five vehicles are restricted to certain geography, time of day and weather. Now, these cruise vehicles are from San Francisco, as you might imagine. General Motors is backing them and the driverless cars are in final testing right now before the rideshare service is going to begin. Some of those tests happening here in Dallas. The company has been doing that since June. You know, Cruise has faced some criticism in other cities like Austin. Some of these cars have caused wrecks and traffic jams. And in San Francisco, one of these driverless cars even blocked an ambulance that was on its way to an emergency. This evening, we have not yet heard when the driverless cars are going to take the streets in Dallas. Cruise Vehicles says it's working with city officials and police departments all across the country to make sure the cars can operate safely. And then the big question, maybe a marketing question for the company, will you get in the back seat of a driverless car if you need to go somewhere, Jason? I don't know. Let's let them work out all those kinks right. first and then uh, maybe. But, you know, I didn't worry about road rage with that car. <laughs> you don't Austin. have to. have to say that. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. All right.